Today we have got a hot topic, oil prices skyrocketing due to the rising tensions between Israel and Iran. And it doesn't look like this situation is going to ease up anytime soon. So for me myself, I'm pretty curious as to how I can take advantage of this situation. Hence, in today's video, I'll be looking at the macro situation and also exploring some Singapore and US stocks that could benefit from this. But before we dive in, if you haven't done so, do join my free weekly newsletter where you will get dips on the US and Singapore stock markets, stock ideas, analyst reports, and many more. So without further ado, let's jump back to the video. Okay, the ongoing tensions between Israel and Iran are making headlines around the world. And as we know, the Middle East is home to some of the world's largest oil producers like Saudi Arabia, Iran, and Iraq. Okay, so any conflict in this particular region, like for, as, for instance, right, if you look at the maps here, if Israel were to strike the oil infrastructure in Iran, it will immediately lead to potential disruptions to the oil supplies and jack up oil prices. But that being said, on the other side of the camp, traders are forecasting that the oil prices will not move much because many countries, especially the OPEC, are now pumping up more oil supply to the market because of economic conditions. However, if I were to look at it from a big picture kind of a thing, I feel that having this oil price range between from uh, maybe 50 plus, you know, 50 plus to 80 is already good enough for a lot of oil producers. They can also continue their exploration plans, pump more uh, volume, etc. So now let's talk about some of the stocks I like from both the US and the Singapore region. And if you have enjoyed this video thus far, I would greatly appreciate it if you can help me to smash that like button. Subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you get notified every time I release another stock analysis video. Okay, so first off, if you know nuts about the oil and gas sector, especially in the US, I would say a diversified approach works better. Okay, and what you can do is to look at an energy focused ETF. And that's what you know many beginners can do as well. So right now, I'm at the Seeking Alpha platform, which is a platform that I use uh, on a consistent basis. And you can actually go check out this Energy Select Sector, SPDR Fund ETF, or the symbol called XLE. All right. So you can just click on it. The reason why I chose this uh, ETF is that it's one of the most popular ETFs for exposure to the energy sector. Okay, because it holds number of those uh, very big oil and gas companies and uh, over here you can just click on the tab holdings okay you can see that it's uh, all invested in energy sector and the top 10 holdings over here so let me zoom in a bit okay so first one of course we know is uh, exxon mobile right 23 percent so whatever this counter move it will move the etf by a bit as well Alright, so next up we have a Chevron at 15%, Konoko Philips at 7%. So it's like if you don't want to do any research, uh, you can just jolly well just uh, buy the whole ETF itself. Okay, so on top of uh, looking at the holdings, you can also check out uh, what are the kind of expenses that go with it, their expense ratios, right? Their, whether they pay dividends, okay, and uh, also check out maybe the ratings right the momentum uh, the risk liquidity and stuff like that for etfs okay and um, why i like to use seeking alpha is definitely the part on the analysis portion so over here you can even check out what the writers or the authors all these uh, people who live breathe eat investing right they are the ones that will constantly write about the particular stock or ETF that's in the market. Uh, so they have uh, what second level thinking, uh, current under underperformance is not indicative of future returns and stuff like that. Okay, so even if you just click on one, you can see that they have really put in a lot of effort, see, to, to write on the oil production and stuff like that. Okay, so if you are interested to sign up for Seeking Alpha, 
I do have a promotion for you. By clicking on the affiliate link down here or in the description box below, you can enjoy a $30 off your premium membership for Seeking Alpha. If you are also a new subscriber, means you haven't signed up for anything before, you can get a 7 days free trial by clicking on this button here. Okay, so you can just go create your account or continue with either Google or Apple and you can get a 7 days free trial to try it out. Alright, so um, I've already mentioned Seeking Alpha Corp for quite a couple of my videos. But one of the big things is that, uh, you know, there are already 250,000 premium members across the globe that are using Seeking Alpha. This uh, tool itself is very good in a sense that, you know, you have uh, the quant stock ratings, you have in-depth analysis written by all the authors in the platform. You even have this, this kind of uh, an analyst performance. You can check out their peers and uh, the top rated stocks and things like that okay so if you are interested to gain the next level for investing in stocks do check out this platform and sign up with my link down here because you will get a 30 dollars off all right so without further ado let's get back to the video pick one us oil and gas stock among all the rest right i would have to say that i will go with something that Warren Buffett is also invested in. Okay, so according to this particular article, he's saying that he sees a bright future for fossil fuels as well as his, uh, one of his uh, company under Berkshire Hathaway, right, where he written on the annual newsletter and he singled out Occidental Petroleum where they have constantly increased their stake in the company. So as of uh, the writing of the article okay they are having a 27.8 percent interest in occidental petroleum saying that the company is uh, a truly remarkable business in the likes of like coca-cola and america express okay so that is very big words coming from warren buffett and the other thing he also pointed out right is his confidence in the ceo Vicky Holub, where you know she knows how to separate the oil from the rock and uh, incredible talent valuable to shareholders and the US okay and but that doesn't give us much context right about the company details and that's where I did a bit more research and pull out both the company presentation slides as well as an article which I find very useful to showcase more about Occidental Petroleum. Okay, so if you want, you can go and uh, check out because this is a free article. Although I'm, uh, I have a premium account in uh, Motley Fool, but this is a free article. You can go check it out anytime. All right, um, so one of the reasons why Warren Buffett like Occidental Petroleum is that they have this carbon capture technology that is not showing up in their you know, annual report or the financial numbers. And this is the very good technology that could extend the oil and gas sector remarkable, uh, marketable life for more decades. And they are the leading developers of this new technology, which will begin operations only in 2025 onwards. All right. And in the meantime, they have a very well-developed network of wells in the U.S., it means that it will remain a cash generating juggernaut okay and if you were to uh, check out their uh, presentation slides you can see uh, that they have their pies in different kinds of uh, uh, i would say different segments okay so for one they have the oil and gas uh, division where they were benefit directly from the high oil prices and then the midstream where they are doing the transportation right from one end to the other oxy cam is like um where they take all these okay unrefined um, oil okay and uh, they make it into chemical products so they are the sector leader over here with uh, constant free cash flow 
generating from this particular segment and they have been expanding and seeing strong margin improvement and the last but not least is this low carbon ventures which is still at the nascent stage right in the beginning or rather they are trying to develop this particular thing and uh, this is where they are going big on sustainability which i feel that it is the next trend going forward okay so basically um they are benefiting from the high oil prices where they constantly can churn out free cash flow so as a result of the free cash flow they can acquire more and more assets right so for example they just uh, done one deal at close uh, 1st of august where they acquire this company called crown rock and it is immediately free cash flow accretive okay and it is also in the piyama uh, region so they are having a very synergy okay uh, with the other assets of Occidental Petroleum. Now moving on to the Singapore stocks, which are generally offshore and marine sector stocks because we don't have any resources in Singapore itself. So we have to offer our services instead, right? And uh, reading about this article, okay, written by uh, Van, okay, he touched on how rising tensions in the Middle East are supporting higher oil prices, which will help out stocks like Citrum, Marco Polo Marine, Dynamic, Mermaid Maritime, and so on and so forth. Okay, so the reason is very simple. When we have high oil prices, all these big uh, oil majors like ExxonMobil or Chevron, they will be tempted, or rather not tempted, uh, they have a business model, right? Then they have to continue their uh, expanding of the exploration or continue to pump oil or go to the deep sea to dig for oil and things like that. So all this will require a lot of uh, offshore support services and that's where they all come in. So either to build the FPSO or Citrum to build the whole rig okay, or Marco Polo Marine to supply the offshore support vessels and things like that. Okay, so all these are positive catalysts for our oil and gas sector, pre predominantly all these uh, support service uh, companies itself. Okay, so uh, if you read on, carry on and reading this article, right, they will say that a lot of analysts are also bullish on the stocks itself. So Marco Polo Marine, the target price is 8 cents, 29 cents for Bang Guang. Alright, um, so it's a good at least uh, 30, 20, 20 something or to 40 something percent potential upside. Alright, even Citrum. So Citrum already went up quite a bit, uh, I think in September itself, right? Yeah, so it went up 22% in September itself already. So I did quite a lot of uh, videos on Citrum before. I touched on how, you know, they are moving into the renewable sector as well. And going forward, okay, um, they are going to hit the ROE of at least 10%. So when I calculated backwards, you know, they have to hit a minimum of like how much income and things like that. So there is a growth uh, story over there in Citrum itself, all right? So all in all, I think uh, this whole outlook is quite positive for all these companies, uh, at least for the near term, one to two years as the oil prices continue to remain uh, at the relatively higher side. Okay, but that being said, okay, let's now move on to the analyst report. All right, so I chance upon this uh, UBK Hien analyst report, okay, talking about the offshore marine sector in Singapore. If you are interested and you want to download this report, you can join my free newsletter to access it. I will put the link down below in my description box as well as in the pinned comment. And now to move on, okay, let me just, uh, because we have already covered the macro sentiment about the oil prices, Iran versus Israel, right? So now let's move on to the peer comparison directly, okay, which is what we we as investors want to know, right? Looking at the peer comparison table, we can see that this oil and gas sector stocks covered by UBK Hien 
Um, they are pretty bullish on most of them, except for Rex International with a sell recommendation. Um, it's not easy to give a sell rating, to be honest, uh, because what they want is always to have trading activities, right? Well, why would a broker ask you to sell? The reason being, if you read uh, the report furthermore, right, they touch on how Rex International don't have a clear visibility on their oil production uh, the operational status okay so uh, i will just keep this stock itself and for the rest you can see that they have a buy recommendation and predominantly i would say that they are split into two camps one is the more large caps one is the more small caps uh, stocks okay large cap we have a uh, capper Citrum, Samcorp Industries, and Yang Zijiang, uh, shipbuilding. Okay, um, their valuation ratios in terms of PE is quite decent, lah. I would say, okay, fifteen times. Uh, for Citrum is a bit high because it's still turning around. Um, which I think he has done quite well in September itself, right? Because the share price shot up to two dollars already. Uh, but for Samcorp and Yang Zijiang, even though the share price has went up so much in the past one to two years, uh, the P ratio is still, you know, quite decent. Um, so maybe investors can put them on your watch list uh, if you're interested. Okay. Um, they're also giving decent uh, dividend yields to my surprise. All right. Okay. So 2.3%, 3.4%. And ROE are also fantastic. Uh, for Samcorp and Yang Zijiang, 20% 25% ROE is really uh, unheard of la, unless you are talking about US stocks, right? Okay, so uh, all these are having 10 billion market cap and more. On the other camp, we have small cap stocks like Marco Polo Marine as well as RH Petrogas. And not forgetting, just now we mentioned about Bangkwang Marine, Mermaid Maritime as well. So their market cap generally 100 plus, 200 plus million. Okay, um, typically small cap stocks, they are banking on fast growth, right? And uh, cheap valuation ratios like cheap PE as well. Okay, so uh, if you're interested, you can also go check them out. So my question is, how will you take advantage of the high oil prices? Let me know in the comments down below. With that, if you find this video helpful for you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more of such stock analysis videos. You can also join my newsletter where I share exclusive insights every single week. Last but not least, if you have a few minutes to spare, catch my next video over here.